If you watched my previous video, then this should be no surprise to you that I am making this video. And if you haven't watched my previous video, but you've been active on social media, then again, this should be no surprise to you. All over football, be it analysts or fans, the comparison of who is better between Bukayo Saka and Phil Foden has been getting louder and louder. And I thought what better time than to give my two cents on the debate and that's what we will be doing today. So what's going on everyone, you're listening to Gunner Central here. I hope you guys are all doing well. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe if you guys haven't already and let's get into it. Now it goes without saying I am an Arsenal fan so although I may come off as pretty biased in this debate I will honestly try to be as neutral as possible when comparing the two players. Now I'm going to start off by saying this, I don't think either of them are necessarily world class. I think it's fair to say that both of them are probably borderline world class, but to me, I don't classify them as world class, even though they probably are as close as you can get. So to me, they sit just right outside of the world class bracket. But in six or eight months time, they probably will be world class in my eyes. It just takes a little more time for me to give a player that world class rating. So there's the world class debate out the way. How some people, I'm looking at you Rio Ferdinand, can say that one is world class and the other isn't. Yeah, I don't get that. Whether you are a City fan or an Arsenal fan, from what we have seen, I think it's very fair to say that they are very close to each other in terms of ability and what they have provided for the team. I think it's very unreasonable to say one is world class when the other isn't. Doesn't make sense to me. Now next is people that bring up the trophy debate when comparing Bukayo Saka and Phil Foden. Now this angle of the debate is completely silly. This isn't Ronaldo and Messi who both played in elite club teams that were the same quality as each other because there I can see how the trophy avenue holds weight. Saka is, even to this day, on a weaker team, at least on paper than Phil Foden. And up till last season, Bukaya wasn't in a competitive team at all. Saka won three trophies in his whole professional career, whereas Foden has won 15 in his whole professional career. Does that instantly mean that Phil Foden is better than Saka? Absolutely not. Because by that thinking, you are basically saying that Eder from Portugal is a better striker than Harry Kane because Adair has more trophies. Yeah, doesn't make sense. So that's why the trophy angle for Foden doesn't hold much weight to me in this particular debate. Now here is where some of you may think that my Arsenal biases are going to be kicking in and fair enough for thinking that. But I think what Saka has done at Arsenal, the numbers he has put up for a team that was a sorry excuse of a Premier League team just two years ago a club that was in disarray. The numbers that Saka has put up for that team, to me at least, are far more impressive than the numbers that Foden has put up for City. I know you can look at it with the fact that because Foden is in a far better team, that it was harder for him to get playtime and make an impact. And that point is true. But also Foden has only ever had to play under one manager in City, one of the best managers of all time, if not the best in Pep Guardiola. Foden has never had to play with a squad of below par players and Foden has never had to carry a club in complete disarray and turmoil. Where Saka, well Saka has had to do all of that. Not to mention Saka having to play different styles of football under three different managers. While at Arsenal, those managers being Unai Emery, Jungberg and Arteta. Not to mention the fact that Bukayo has also had to play a large portion of his early games at left back. Yes, a lot of people forget about that but Bukayo for a large portion of his professional career had to play at left back. Now going on to stats, Phil Foden has been properly active for Man City since around 2018 to 2019 that season. Despite playing 10 games the season before, this was his first proper season for Man City where he played 26 games in all competitions. And since his proper breakthrough with Man City, Phil Foden has scored a very impressive 75 goals in all competitions for Man City and got 49 assists in 253 games for City. That is a goal or an assist every 1.89 games. A very, very impressive stat line for the Englishman. Bukayo has been active for Arsenal since the 2019-20 season, one season after Phil Foden was properly brought in for Man City. Yes, Saka did play four games for Arsenal in the 2018-19 season, but not counting that, since Saka's proper breakthrough for Arsenal, Saka has scored 51 goals for Arsenal and got 49 assists 
the same as Phil Foden by the way. In 206 games for Arsenal which equates to a goal or an assist every 2.06 games. Very very close. Phil Foden edges it but it's very very close so again maybe if you look purely at numbers you would edge it to Foden but again that would be completely wrong and this is a perfect example of stats misleading you you must remember again for a large portion of Saka's career he played in a poor lackluster Arsenal team plus Saka having to play under different managers plus Saka having to play a large portion of his games at left back or just flat out out of position also a large portion of games under Arteta Arsenal played basically a low block and counter attack which is very hard for a winger to have any success in unless they are just Mbappe quick and Saka has really only exploded and been given a fair shout with a decent team around him since last season Saka has always been good but since the beginning of last season was Saka's first time playing in a good team, a competitive team and a team that controls the ball, controls the game the same way City do. Now again, yes, I'm saying all of this to kind of big up Saka, but to be fair, it is hard for Foden to play in a really good team to keep getting game time and you don't get as much consistent game time as Saka. It is very hard for Foden to get into a rhythm. So I hear that point as well. But also Foden has played 50 or so games more than Bukayo Saka in his professional career. He's played again and the only one manager, one philosophy, controlled games, played for a really good team with world-class players around him, where Saka for most of his Arsenal career has been our best player. Now with all things considered and biases aside, if I am being 110% honest with you guys, I edge it to Bukayo Saka. I think both Foden and Saka are on the same tier of a player, so I don't mind if you think Foden is better, but to me, Saka is better. It's marginal, but to me, Saka is better. I just think what he has done for a much weaker team, for him to have been our best player for the last three or so seasons, it is a lot harder and a very difficult situation the one that Foden finds himself in. They don't necessarily play the same position and I think Foden is better than Saka in some areas. For instance, I love Phil Foden's first touch, but Saka is probably a little bit better with crosses. Saka is probably a little bit better one-on-one -on -one with a fullback, but Foden is maybe a little bit better in tighter spaces. So they to me are very, very similar of a player, but I give Saka the edge. I think Saka is a little bit of a better player. I would rather have Saka in a team over Foden, but it is very, very marginal and we are essentially splitting hairs here on who is better. So again, if you edge it to full Foden, I completely understand. It's extremely close and I think it would be untrue and unrealistic if you can sit here and tell me that one is exponentially better than the other. I understand if you think Bukayo is better. I understand if you think full Foden is better, but for you to sit here and say comfortably this guy is better than the other, I think that's untrue. I think that's untrue fair and that just doesn't make sense to me but yeah guys that's the video let me know in the comments below who do you guys think is better Phil Foden or Bukayo Saka and let me know why please be sure to smash the like button subscribe if you guys haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one